Right off the bat, I'd like to apologize for those of you who don't like uh, intros or long intros on videos, but I'm sorry I have to do it for this one. Um, I don't know what minute or second the actual tutorial is going to start, but I'm pretty sure someone out there is going to find it and post it. Please forgive me if I cry. I'm going to try really hard not to. This entire video is dedicated to my little dog. She is kind of one of the main reasons why I haven't been making videos because she actually, I had to put her down um, May, on May 19th and it's been really, really, really hard for me to deal with. Not to mention last month, May, I, my family, we lost three family members. One actually passed on my birthday it was my cousin. My uncle died the week, a couple weeks after. And then the day after his funeral, I came home. And the very next day, I had to put my dog down. Little story about my dog. She was actually a birthday present from my parents. Before I had Malaya, before I had my daughter, this, she, this dog was everything to me. Her name was Wylia, but I called her, I called her everything. Wolfie, sausage, snossage, wiener schnitzel. She was a little hot dog. She was a miniature um, dachshund. And she was my teeny weeny, my little Wolfie. This is her paw print that her vet was so nice to send. One really unique thing about her that inspired my eyes were her eyes. She actually had a birthmark on one of her eyeballs, her left eye, that's why I did the blue here. Uh, half of her eyeball was brown and like the bottom half was like blue. It just reminded me of blue like crystal water. It was very pretty and her other eye was just brown so that's why I've kind of tried to interpret it the best way I could. So how she passed? She lived an awesome life, like I said, so spoiled, um, but finally came to an end, and I knew the day would come, because she had developed cancer a couple years ago, actually. She's always had an enlarged heart, so she could never get fixed, she could never have puppies, she could never have any surgical procedures because of her heart. As soon as she went under too much stress, or if they ever put her under for anesthesia, um, her, art, her heart would basically, she'd just have a heart attack. And so we could never operate on her tumors. She had one tumor specifically, and it just grew and grew and grew to the point where it was, you know, right before she passed, it was dragging on the floor. And there was nothing we could do. There was nothing we could do for her but just keep her comfortable. And, you know, it never really bothered her. She would still run around and bark at the mailman. The same day of my uncle's funeral, I was so, you know, I was so concerned about her. I actually drove, you know, after the funeral, I drove from San Diego back home. But, you know, I was with my family for a little bit. So I got home in the middle of the night. And she was just didn't run up to greet me. Not her usual self. And I thought, oh, it's late, you know, I'll, she'll be okay in the morning. But morning came and she was the same. She couldn't walk. I'd pick her up and she would just fall, fall on the floor. So I took her to the vet. He basically said to me, it was time. I chose to stay with her because I didn't want to leave that room and you know have her wondering where is she going and oh my god I'm dying <laughs> I held her little head in my hands and they gave it to her and I just kept petting her and I told her thank you thank you for all the years thank you for everything thank you for making my life happier they gave it to her and it was kind of traumatic because they told me as the you know, as it shuts down her body from the inside, she releases, you know, just some last, like, gasp of breath. So she was, like, two big gasps of breath, and her eyes got really big. 
and that was kind of really traumatizing. Not to mention, I just watched the life vanish from her eyes. There's no way you can sit here and tell me, oh my god, why did she keep crying, blah blah blah. It was just a dog. Well, unless you have a dog or a cat or any pet, there's no way you'll really understand how much it truly hurts to say goodbye. I'm still healing, but you know, I'm I'm gonna, you know, trying to move forward. Hopefully this will help me in some way. But um yeah, okay. Thanks for listening to this little vlog, I guess, before the tutorial. So what I've already got on is Urban Decay's Primer Potion in Greed. And to help make it extra smoky and, like, rich in color, I'm using this new Makeup Forever Waterproof Eyeshadow Pencil. It's shade 2E. Next, I'm going to take OCC's Flicker Loose Color Concentrate and my Sonia Kashuk Small Eyeshadow Brush. And then just adding that to the inner corner. And next, I'm going to blend in this NYX or NYX. It's like a loose eyeshadow. It's called Ultra Pearl Mania in Walnut Pearl. Next I'm going to be taking a dark bronzy brown called Brown Cafe from this Graftobian Fantasize A color palette number two. And then just blending that in from the outer corner. From there I'm just going to add a little black to the crease area like right in here. And from there, I'm using a fluffier brush, and this is also from that same Graftobian palette. And this one is called Golden Opal. So I've already done my brows, and I'm just going to clean up the brow, like highlight area, with Urban Decay's ABC Gum and a small angled brush. So I've already put a little mascara on my top lashes and I'm going to go back with the brown that I used as a base and I'm going to use this now as the eyeliner and I'm going to go in with the dark bronzy color that I used and go over that and sort of smudge it and drag it down. Now for the little bit of sparkle to the inner corner, this is LA Splash Copper Glow. And I'm just taking a Q-tip and dipping it a little tiny tiny bit in the glitter base. And then I'm just going to apply it from there. And for a little extra bit of sparkle, if you want, um, I'm taking Max Reflex Gold, I believe it's called, and I'm just gonna pat that, like, gonna pat it all over. So I just added a little mascara to the bottom lashes, and that is it for this eye. Now for the cut crease eye. So what I've already got on is this Makeup Forever Eye Prime. And I put that all over the lid. And since this one's going to be a bit more colorful, I've also added a white base. And this is the NYX or NYX White Eyeshadow Base. And as always, I'm going to use a pencil to cut the crease first to give myself a little outline. To start with the blue color, I'm using this Inglot eyeshadow. This one's number 478 with my Sonia Kastrick small eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to pack that on to the inner part. Now 
Next, I'm going to blend in this Magnolia Makeup Pigment. This one is called Chlorine. And then to the outer corner, this is a new sugar pill eyeshadow, and this one's called Velocity, and this is from the Heartbreaker palette. Next, I'm going to go in with a matte dark brown. This is NARS Coconut Grove, and a small smudger brush, and I'm going to outline the crease line that's left and blend it up. Going in with a fluffy brush, I'm going to go back with the same dark bronze that I used on the other eye, and I'm going to try to blend that in with the dark brown. Also again from this palette, I'm going to go back with the white gold and dust that on as the highlight color. So I've already done my brow, and I'm going to go with Urban Decay's ABC Gum and a small angled brush and just clean up the highlight. For the little bit of glitter that I had mentioned earlier, I'm going to be using a super tiny concealer brush that I got from Crown Brush and LA Splash Sealer Base. For my glitter, this is LA Splash Oceana. For the first eyeliner, I'm using Inglot's 88 Matte Gel Eyeliner. This is waterproof. And a very small uh, angled concealer brush, also from Crown Brush. Next I'm using an LA Splash liquid eyeliner and definitely don't know how to pronounce that properly so I'm just going to show you for a second. My brush is super wonky. I don't know if I got a bad one or hopefully it's just this one but I'm going to try to make it work. Moving on to the dark blue liner. This is NYX or NYX, another liquid liner. This one is Studio FX Extreme Blue. For the bottom, I'm going back with the same brown that I used down here. And then I'm going to smudge it with the matte dark brown that I used in the crease. So then to, to finish up the bottom line, I'm going back with my glitter. For the lashes, these are Red Cherry number 304. Okay, so for the cheeks, I just slapped on some blush. Um, I think I used a Milani Bellissimo Bronze Blush. For the lips, it's just going to be somewhat nude-ish with a little gloss. First, I'm going to put on a little bit of this Makeup Forever lipstick. This one is N39. And then over that, I'm using an Armor lip gloss. This one is called Stardust. Okay, that is it. Hope this helped. Hope you like. Thank you for watching and subscribing if you have. Bye!
was that, Weenie?